What is my problem with man, you ask? No. I ask you what was man's problem with me. Whoa, that was uh, a little bit dramatic. Hi, um, uh, my name's Venom Fang X. Have you guys ever wondered what if God is not true? You know, some people, when I ask that, their brain just shuts off. But they just, you know, they plug their ears, they close their eyes, and they go, God created the heavens and the earth, and they refuse to think outside their little box. As the Bible says, it goes, la la la, can't hear, I'd plug my other ear, but my other hand is kind of occupied. So, while you're chewing on that, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is the first time you're joining us, Creationist Controversy is not based upon scientific evidence, but rather on lies upon lies upon more lies. So they're absolutely wrong and ridiculous, and they're dishonest. They know what they're saying is not true. It's just going back to what I said before. They will not entertain the idea that what they're saying is not true because the alternative, which is evolution's true, evolution's true, evolution's true, scares them too much. Uh, it's too big of a concept for many people. So what are the implications of that? What I'm saying is that Charles Darwin is right. So let's get right into this, starting from the beginning. What Darwin saw is evidence of evolution. We're going to show you here in this video and videos to follow. We believe the Bible is the inspired, inerrant word of the living God, and that is one of the greatest and most dangerous lies ever given to mankind. The Bible says God created the dinosaurs in the beginning and that they, that they largely went extinct during a worldwide flood about 4,400 years ago. You guys ever heard the story of Noah's Ark? Uh, that is incompatible with reality. You will simply laugh. You have to laugh at how ridiculous it is. What are the implications for you? How are you going to look at life differently if you believe that? And yet, and yet people believe the Bible is the inspired, inerrant word of the living God because they want it to believe because they don't like the alternative. You make certain uh, assumptions, you make certain uh, f finalities, consequences. There are consequences to believing it, which, which changes the way you look at people, the way you look at the world, the way you look at the purpose and reason to your existence and the existence of your fellow man. So you can see that that is a serious leap of logic, and it's not logic, it's illogical, and I don't believe it's true for a second. If life indeed is the result of the inspired inerrant word of the living God, and that, then life has the value of an inanimate object. Um, and that's why the children today, the kids today are grown up doing drugs. Uh, I want to bring you outside your comfort zone. What I'm saying is, if you have any brothers or sisters, my other hand is kind of occupied. So without further ado, creationist movement is not based upon scientific evidence, but rather on lies upon lies upon more lies. So... <laughs> I make the meaning for my life. Grown up, doing drugs. <laughs> it was worse than dead. His brain is gone.